Welcome to the brand new 2020 Malibu Boats Dash. I'm gonna run through this with you guys real quick, uh, kind of make sense of all of it. First things first, I did click this power button right here to illuminate the dash, bring power to it. Uh, so you're gonna wanna do that first, and it'll bring you to this point. Uh, over here on the left side of the screen, uh, you're gonna have your speedometer. It's gonna go right through here. Your RPM gauge is gonna give you a numerical format right there. Your gas gauge will give you a percentage reading here and then your actual speed will be uh, notified right here in a numerical format as well. Um, cruise control is also located right here. Click that. You're gonna see that is actually illuminated blue to kind of let you know that the cruise control is on. And then right above your speedometer, you're gonna have your actual settings. So you can go up and down through here, change that to whatever setting you'd like. And once you take off, you hit that speed, locks you in. Put that back off. Down in this bottom left, you're going to have your docking uh, docking mode button. Uh, what that does is actually takes half the sensitivity out of the throttle, so that when you go to dock the first couple times, it's not going to be as jumpy on you. The top left corner up here is going to be your go home button. Your go home button is actually going to be kind of your quick reference guide to draining all of the tanks, uh, kind of resetting everything. What it does is if you've been out all day, you've been surfing, wakeboarding, whatever it is, uh, when you click go home, it will turn off your surf gate, it turns off your wedge, or brings it back up out of the water, drains all of your ballast tanks back down to zero, and then automatically shuts off for you, and then resets your cruise control. So it's kind of your one button to clear everything. Also up top, uh, when the boat's on, you'll have your depth gauge right here, oil pressure, engine temperature, um, battery voltage, all of your vitals are gonna be right up in the top left corner. I'm gonna jump over to this side real quick. Uh, over on the right side of the screen here, you're going to have your time, air and water temperature, and your orientation up top, and then all of your wake shaping device settings right here on the side. Uh, so your surf gate is going to be top right, you know, surf right, surf left, or center. Center is basically off, brings both paddles into the middle. Down here you're going to have your power wedge. So right now you can see it's in stow but you can actually manipulate this and put it all the way down here or all the way up here to create a different style wave for yourself. Uh, for example, if you have your wedge at position six, that's gonna be your highest and steepest wave. Uh, but if you go down to one, it's gonna be your longest wave. Uh, so you can kind of manipulate that per rider. Uh, and also lift mode down here actually takes your wedge and inverts it. So that way, uh, when you take off, it'll actually lift the boat uh, out of the water, get you on the plane a little bit quicker. And then right here in the center, you can see you got a bow, center, port, and starboard tank. Uh, just gives you a quick reference guide to how much weight you have in any tank at any given moment. Right now, you can see they're all empty, uh, but if you were to fill them up, they would all start rising in big blue so you can see it. Now in the middle, you can actually kind of change this up a little bit, so that's why I did this last. Uh, these five different menu settings down here are gonna stay on the bottom. I'm over here on my gauges screen, which is gonna show you your RPMs, your odometer, uh, your engine temperature, all the kind of the, the gauges you would typically find uh, whenever you're cruising. One menu screen over is gonna be all your media sources. So for example, this one has a reverse camera. I can turn that on, see what's going on behind me right now. Uh, that camera also automatically pops up whenever I throw the boat in reverse as well. Uh, if you do like to look, let's see what's behind you while you're driving, you can actually make that full screen here and that way you still have all of your, your vitals and your gauges over here and you can still see what's going on directly behind you. Your next screen over is gonna show you your depth. Uh, so as you drive, this will actually manipulate and actually kind of show you how deep it is and the kind of the shape and structure of the lake below you. Next one over, this big wave, is gonna be all of your, so your rider presets. So right now, there's different settings in here that are empty that you can actually go in, type in your own name and your own settings to, uh, to put the settings that you like in there. But it does come with wakeboard beginner, intermediate, advanced, surf left, and surf right. Uh, so when you click on one of these, your, uh, your screen here will actually show you what it's going to do to the wave, uh, kind of give you a virtual representation of that. And then all you do is hit load, and all the settings that are already set in there will start going. You know, it'll start filling up ballast to 100%. It'll just make it surf left uh, if we have that one selected, surf right if we have that one selected. It'll put your wedge down and it'll start doing everything for you. 
Last one down here is your ballast screen. So what this does is you can actually see how much weight you have in any tank at any given moment. And then to fill them up, you can just click those, hit fill. Same thing if they're already filled, you can just click it and hit drain or actually put it to any set level in here.